Hey guys and welcome to another unboxing and review video and today yes we're taking a look at the Grand Inquisitor from the Obi-Wan show. Guys I'm so excited to have this figure in my collection and I can wait to show you all the details. But before we start if you want to pre-order this figure make sure you check out Comic Concepts I put the link in the description below. Don't forget to use the code MOHC10 and you can save $10 store wide. Alright guys and over the talking let's start with the unboxing. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, and here we have the box. So we have the Grand Inquisitor with the banner at the bottom looking really good. This is the side of the box with another picture of the Grand Inquisitor. This is the back with other crescent warning, small pieces, do not eat it. This is the other side with the continuation of the banner, of course, Grand Inquisitor. And that's basically it. Now, out of the packaging, guys, we have the insert art. And as you can see, this one looks really, really good. I love the picture here. The Grand Inquisitor using the lightsaber here, which is USB powered. First figure with USB powered. And don't worry, I'm going to show you everything so you know how to handle this new feature. Now, the first tray, we have the lightsabers with the cables and, of course, the lightsaber effect and the hologram, of course. And yes... <sighs> the brand new smell of a hot toys so now let me remove this plastic cover here and show you the figure this is a grand inquisitor and let me tell you first impression very positive this thing looks really good as you can see there everything looks fantastic so far same as the proportion now behind the figure we have all the accessories of course all right guys so now what i'm going to do next is take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories and here we have all the accessories. As you can see, we have the base, we have the lightsaber effect, lightsaber hands, the USB power bank, you name it. Now let's take a look at the first accessory. And yes, it is the base, same boring base. Nothing new with this thing. For the next accessory, guys, we have the Darth Vader hologram looking really good, as you can see there. Very cool, translucent blue plastic. Now for the next one, we have the lightsaber effect. And yes, you have a dynamic one and a regular one. And yes, it comes in pairs. So that's it. For the next one, we have the lightsaber here. And this one here is the one without the cable because you can actually put this in the back of the figure. Yes, you guys right, this is magnetic. As you can see here, if you wanna put it there, you just simply do so and that's it. All right, for the next accessory, guys, we have the lightsaber with the USB cable here that you can connect, of course, to the USB powered power bank here. And as you can see, little device, right? You can connect the cables there. You can put a USB cable and you can put it behind the figure or on the base. Your choice, your preference. You can do whatever you want. Now for the next one, we have the extra cable here that you can put it on the power bank and of course connect it to the figure. And don't worry, I'm going to show you later. And last but not least, we have the hand. So I'm going to show you just the two because it comes only two pairs, as you can see here. Now taking a look at the figure, guys, let me tell you, this thing looks fantastic. Overall proportions are very nice. I love the design, the armor, the cape, the you know, the head sculpt looks really good as well. Now, this figure is about 12 inches tall, which is about 31 centimeters, give or take. All right, guys, so now let's take a closer look at the details on the figure here, because as I mentioned before, the head sculpt is the selling point on this figure. You can see the detail on the eyes looking really good. The detail, the texture on the face is really nice as well. We have the earbuds there <laughs> looking good. And of course, the back of the head sculpt. And as you can see, a lot of texture going on. So not bad at all, if you ask me. This is the other side and of course the front. And this is the top of the head sculpt, if you're wondering how this looks. Now for the actually outfit or the armor, it looks pretty cool. It is a muted uh, black color there with some red pattern in the middle which is the actual light and don't worry I'm gonna show you later how that works we have the huge shoulder pads the belt looking really nice with a lot of details there as you can see those white and red buttons there the gauntlet also looks pretty cool same as the hands Nazi sculpted now next to the pants we have this armor here looking very good and of course a very soft material on the pants so not bad at all now then we have the boots which is pleather and that could be a problem in the long run we had this this issue before this is the bottom of the feet very clean nothing else whatsoever 
this is the other side again very clean boots this is the back of the figure you can see the pants of course looking really good and of course the back and this is where you can connect the cable for the usb power now the cable looks fantastic with a nice la layer there and of course the black cape with a nice hoodie there all right guys so now let's do some articulation here so you can move the head to the side this much no up and down you can move the arm for about this much you can move it forward for about this much and back for about this much some swivel here you can bend the elbow for about this much and not bad at all and of course you have the classic pec articulation some swivel on the torso and up crunch you can do a split on the legs like that some swivel on the thighs you can lift the leg forward for about this much and back for about this much and of course you can bend the knee about that much and last but not least some pec articulation on the feet so not bad at all all right guys so now let me show you something very very fun so here we have the usb powered or bank right that you can use to light up the figure with the lightsaber and so on you need a type c adapter or cable you can put it like that and then you can connect the lightsaber so i'm going to show you in this clip how to do that in case you were wondering so the only thing you need to do is connect it to one of the ports like so and then turn on the switch and yes boom it will light up very nicely let me turn off the lights and then you can see this is the brightness so i think it's okay not super bright but i think it's all right now then you can connect this cable here and you can actually put it and connect it behind the figure so as you can see i'm showing you that then if you get the figure you can connect the cable underneath this little piece here as you can see there we have a port so you just connect it like so and then the front will light up so not bad at all now if you turn off the lights you'll see the brightness which i think is decent so not bad in my opinion all right guys so now let me show you something very cool here so you have this usb power bank here right you connect the hook here that you can actually put it behind it and then you just put it behind the figure like so and that's pretty cool because you can actually use the lightsaber light up the figure itself with no issues whatsoever and it gets better you can actually cover it with a cape so it will give you a more seamless look so not bad at all all right guys so now let me show you some poses here and i did only four let me show you the very first one here as you can see very simple pose i just put the dynamic lightsaber and yes it is light up as you can see there i think this pose looks pretty cool but one thing i noticed about this is that you have to be very careful when you put the hand with the lightsaber because it is kind of fragile especially the borders so you don't want to break it now for the next pose i have him holding the darth vader hologram and as you can see it looks sick now one thing i would have want uh to come with this thing is to light up the hologram so that will be even better maybe i'm asking for a lot but if you were able to do an extra cable and connect it to the same power bank maybe you can do the same thing with this hologram and that's basically it for this pose for the next pose guys i did something not too crazy but very simple as you can see here holding the dual light server which looks pretty good as you can see here now one thing i mentioned before the head sculpt looks fantastic those details are insane maybe you can pull more dynamic poses please be my guest and do that if you want and last but not least we have this very simple pose as you can see we have the grand inquisitor holding the dual lightsaber and of course the ladder feature is on all over the place as you notice no exposed cables everything is hidden behind the figure so that's a huge plus you can actually play around you can connect it directly to the power and have this on continuously with no issues all right guys so my final thoughts about this figure is actually very positive start with the likeness i think this is a really good representation of the grand inquisitor as seen in the obi one show in terms of accessories this figure doesn't come with much but the main feature is the first time using a usb powered lightsaber which in my opinion 
I think Hatos is going to the right direction. Maybe some improvements, maybe making the cable a bit longer, uh, maybe providing a, a type C cable in case you don't have one, but things that we can actually overcome in the future. So not a deal breaker for me. In terms of articulation, this figure is good enough. You can do really good dynamic poses with this figure. Maybe some limitations with the arms and that might limit the overall, uh, you know, poses for this, but overall very happy with this. And because of that, my fun score is 8.5 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Manafa Collectibles, TikTok, Manafa Collectibles, and Facebook group, Six Kill Media. For anything related, one sales care figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.